everybody. What we have here is a Lexmark printer scanner. Now I got this uh, for a present about two months ago and uh, I unpacked it. I um, programmed my computer. I put in the uh, print head and the cartridges, everything worked fine. I scanned one document and I packed it away. And I live here in Hawaii and uh, a couple days ago I unpacked it and went to scan another document and the uh, print head didn't work. I was having a lot of problems with print head. right there and evidently uh, the humidity here uh, might have done something to it or um, made it not function and I kept reprogramming and um, reinstalling the print head like uh, the instructions told me to do and the thing didn't work well I only want to use a scanner I don't have nothing to print and uh, a new print head is $80 uh, through Amazon.com, and I wasn't going to pay it. Uh, each one of these inks uh, costs uh, about $20 or higher, and there's four of them there, and I'm not going to pay that. Uh, I just, I just want to use a scanner. But these scanner printers don't allow you to um, scan after if there's something's wrong with the printhead. Uh, these people are money-grubbing scum and all they want to do is make their money. And I'm not going to put up with it. Uh, so this thing was headed to the the uh, the dump and um, right before I um, took this thing to the dump I had a couple calculated risks I wanted to try to try to make the scanner work. So what I did was the right thing here. Went up inside here. This is where the print head goes. See that good? Where it goes right there. Humidity got up in there or something. Now, don't do what I'm about to tell you to do unless this thing's on the way to the dump and you don't want to mess with it anymore. This is my strong advice because you're not going to have the printer working after we get through with it. So right up in here, you have these ribbons. Have the ribbons to the carrier, the cartridge carrier. Have these ribbons right there. What you're going to do is you're going to cut those at two ends. This end and this end here. And that's going to not make this uh, printer head work anymore. I tried short circuiting the electrodes here. That didn't work with aluminum. That didn't work. So then I decided to cut these two sets of ribbons. There's three, three ribbons there. I cut these. All right. Then what you want to do is these controlling bands that make the carriage go back and forth. You want to disconnect those. That's up in here. It's just disconnected. You don't need the carriage anymore. Now, once we got those cut and those ribbons
then you want to come down here all the way down here and you're going to turn this thing on first of all you put in your your memory card or your flash drive whatever you have there put it in Gonna come down here. You're gonna turn this machine on. Okay. Now it's on. Now I have something inside to be printed. There's a Lexmark thing there. Okay. Now what's it say in there? Printhead cannot move. Check the printer for obstructions. Close cover. Then press OK. Well all that doesn't work anymore. Well, you only want the scanner to work. Oh, this is what you're going to do now. You're going to come over here to the OK button and the down button and you're going to press those at the same time. Just keep pressing it. It'll work. There we go. No photo image is detected. Just keep pressing that and come over and you want to press scan. All right, now you got your scan working. You don't want fax, you don't want copy, you don't want photo. You're just going to use scan. Now you come over here, press the down button, memory device, press OK. All right, you're going to press file type. I don't want a PDF, I want a JPEG. All right. And if you want the original size, and you can use that. Now, you come over here to the OK button. To the print button, the start button. Right there. And you press that. And here's what you get. See? It's scanning. Let it cook a while. I don't know why this thing takes so long, but it does. I only want to use this for the scanner. I never wanted to use the printer. If I want to print things, I go to the library, to the, the nearest um, supermarket, or to a professional printing place. There we go. We're scanning it now. There we go. Complete. So, remember... Press OK and down button at the same time. Right here, OK and down button. Press them at the same time until you get no photo is inserted. Once you get that no photo sign, come over from photo to scan. Choose your file type. JPEG or PDF and then hit start and you got your uh, your scan so I hope that this helps everybody let's come back over to the uh, 
the mark uh, name there. Well, good luck everybody. Hope this helped uh, a lot of you people out there. I saw your complaints on YouTube and on uh, the internet. So, uh, Lamarck, screw, screw you brothers. Bye everybody.